Whew, it has been a little bit. What up, Huck Squad? I'm coming at you today with my biggest unboxing ever. I have four boxes to unbox. I have two mystery boxes, the red and the black, and I have two white boxes. And admittedly, I have been slacking a little bit on making videos, which is why I have four boxes all ready to be unboxed at the same time. But I am excited to get after it, and I'm excited to see what's in these. I do actually know what is in this box because when I first got it, my girlfriend and I were so excited to see what's inside. But it has been over a month since I've seen what is inside of it, so I actually don't remember. As I pull them out, I'll probably get a good idea and remember each disc as they come out. But if I were to tell you right now, I probably couldn't even name two discs inside this box, but I have seen what is inside this. These three boxes I have not seen. I've never done four boxes in one video before, so I'm gonna try to keep this short and sweet. I'm gonna try not to ramble too much, but I really don't know how long this video is gonna be. Make sure to stick around to the end because normally when I do unboxings, there's typically a giveaway involved so there'll probably be a giveaway at some point in this video so that's gonna do it for the intro I am just gonna get started because there is a lot to go through here so we are just gonna get started with the red box and this one is already open so let's pop this open and the boxes this year the theme is the legend of the lost stone so comes with a nice little sheet with some information and it breaks down some of the new discs that are gonna be released Right on top, we have one of the first stone discs. We have the Iron Stone. This one is in what looks like kind of like a Color Glow. And yeah, it is Color Glow Sea Line P3X. And I've always been a thrower of the P3X. The P3X has been in my bag for a long time. Currently, it's not in my bag, and I typically bag an S Line P3X, but I am very familiar with the P3X mold. I have thrown C Line P3Xs before, but for some reason, this one feels just a little bit more shallow than the older ones that I've thrown. So, Ironstone, Sea Line P3X. Next we have what looks like a misprint method. Yeah, it's a misprint method, and it's got white with a purple basket stamp over the top of the regular method stamp. And anyone who watches my videos, I've been throwing the method for a little while now. The method is a great straight to, to overstable mid-range, but when you beat it in, it turns into a really good like hyzer flip to straight mid-range. Maybe get a little bit of drift to the right. Always good to have a backup method. Next up we have an S-Line DD-1 in the purple plastic. And I am a thrower of the DD-1. I still have the Horizon Stratosphere in my bag and it's great for those long straight tunnel shots. Kind of like an Enigma. I used to bag an Enigma a lot, but not, it doesn't have as much flip up and turn as an Enigma does. I'm sure once it beats in, it will kind of get to that point. DD-1 is just a wonderful mold. And speaking of Enigmas, we actually have an Enigma up next in the Neo Plastic. Also, a little bit of a misprint. You can't really see there because of the glare from the window, but it's a double misprint, kind of like a cross on the front. And I threw Enigmas for years before I took them out of my bag for the uh, Horizon DD-1, so I'm super familiar with how an Enigma flies. Uh, kind of like the method, both of these are white, and I live up in New England, and in the winter, I don't throw as many white discs, so I don't see myself bagging this anytime soon. I'm very familiar with the flight of an Enigma. It's gonna hyzer flip when it's brand new with a little fade, but as you, you know, hit some trees and use it, it's gonna hyzer flip to roll to the right and then come back. Just an absolutely great distance driver, honestly. Next up, we have an Iron Samurai 4. And the Iron Samurai is a wonderful mid-range, and a lot of people really love the Iron Samurai. I've just never had the need to put it in the bag full-time, but eventually I am going to get out to the field and throw a bunch of these discs and make review videos on them, so I could probably include this Iron Samurai 4 into that review video. It is pretty shallow and flat, so this actually could be something that works its way into the bag if I get out to the field and I like how it flies. Ooh, we have another stone here. This time we have the Phenom stone, and I actually don't know what, oh, it's a Neo PD, all right. So I have thrown PDs in the past. It's a great backhand disc for me. People who know my bag or watch my videos, they know that I kind of have discs that I specifically backhand and specifically forehand. The PD is a disc that you can do both with, especially me, I have done both with, but if a PD is in my bag, I'm typically going to it for a backhand, and my FD3 would be for my forehand. But this is super clean looking, has a nice color and a nice really cool gold foil on the top. 
and I am excited to try this one out. It just feels really, really solid. I really like the feel of this plastic, but that is the second stone. It is the Phenom Stone. Next up, we have a disc that I am really familiar with. We have the Tactic, and this is in the Exo Soft, which I am not as familiar with than the Exo Hard. I kind of prefer the Exo Hard because over time, as it beats in, it's still gonna hold its shape. And sometimes with the Softs, you get like that little thumbprint or you get indents in it. So I've, I'm personally not as big of a fan as the Exo Soft Tactic as I am the Exo Hard. For me personally, Tactics are for forehands, and P3Xs and round edge putters are for backhands. Lastly, this is the last disc in the box. Yep, nothing underneath the flap. And it's the third stone disc, and it is the Nightstone. And it is a Neo FD in pink, kind of like a bubblegum pink with a rainbow stamp. And once again, these stone discs just look super clean, and the Neo plastic is just super nice, feels so money. And this is probably a disc that I would more likely bag um, than the other two, just because I do love me an FD. And I just lost my like five year seasoned FD when I was at a team challenge match like a month and a half ago. So right now, currently, I do not have an FD in my bag. I'm kind of using my beat up instinct as that same sort of mold. I just really like how clean these uh, stone discs look. It's not, it's not like there's too much stuff on the stamp. It's a very you know cool stamp with just the name of the disc, couple logos, but it doesn't feel too busy, and I really just like the way that these stone discs look. That wraps up the first box. We still have three boxes to go, and I'm just gonna get right into the next box, but that first box was wonderful. Three stone discs, a couple distance drivers, uh, a method, an iron samurai. That box was just absolutely packed with goodies. So I think what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna do one of the white boxes, and then I'll do a black mystery box, and then I'll get back to another one of the white boxes at the end. Let's see what is in... <laughs> Let's see what's in this box. We have an S-Line MD5, and I'm a huge MD5 thrower, but the MD5 that I have was the first run from a few years ago in like kind of a, almost like a blizzardy C-Line plastic. It does have like that feel of kind of blizzard plastic, and this one seems to be a tiny bit more flat than the one that I have. The C-Line one that I have has a lot of dome. Uh, at this point, it's super beaten in. I've had it for a few years, so it does fly pretty straight before it has a hard fade at the end. And it looks like there's actually two MD5s. So we have the gray, kind of swirly MD5 there, and then we have a white MD5 here. So awesome to get two new MD5s. It's just amazing to have backups and just get more discs that I currently throw and that I currently have. I'm going to have a pretty good idea and comment out as a sort of stuff. You know, I'm going to have a pretty good idea and comment out as a sort of stuff. You know, I'm going to have a pretty good idea and comment out as a sort of stuff. You know, I'm going to have a pretty good idea and comment out as a sort of stuff. You know, I'm going to have a pretty good idea and comment out as a sort of stuff. You know, I'm going to have a pretty good idea and comment out as a sort of stuff. So I think what we'll do now is we'll do the black box. This is a brand new mystery box unboxing for me too. So I am pretty psyched about it. It's just so fun. And it's like, <laughs> and it's just like a present. It's like Christmas morning every time. First disc on top is a absolutely gorgeous stone disc. Holy crap. Look at how nice this pink is with those swirls. Wow, this is a Sky Stone, and this is a Swirly S-Line PD-2. And I haven't had a PD-2 in so long, it's literally been years since I've even thrown a PD-2, and it is absolutely gorgeous. For some reason, the swirls on this pink disc just look amazing, and the stamp, like I said, is really simple, really clean. Probably my favorite disc so far, just because of how pretty it is and how nice it feels. I know for a 100% fact that when my girlfriend sees this disc, she's gonna be like, mine! Just because she loves the beautiful, pretty pink discs, almost any time I get a package and she looks through them, she claims my pink discs. Now, if I want it, obviously I can still have it, bag it, and throw it, but she has her own bag of discs that she just likes the aesthetic of, you know, pink, purple, some whites in there, and she does get out with me and play here and there. Not enough to be able to fully throw a PD-2, but the beauty and the look of the discs is really what she appreciates. Okay, next up we have a P2, the white D-Line Flex 2 P2. And I've been putting with P2s for years. I used to throw P2s a lot, but now I've kind of cycled out my throwing P2s, whereas I have 
a link now, which is a pretty beaten up link as like a flippy kind of uh, throwing putter. And then I have what I mentioned earlier, my Cosmic Fury, which has been really good. It's a logic, but it's been really good for those straight to overstable shots. Won't turn too much for me at this point still, but as I beat it in a little bit more, it might start to turn for me. Always just awesome to get backups of stuff that you already throw. Next up we have Throwdown at the Trails. There's no name on the top. I'm just gonna try to guess from the feel. It almost feels like an FD1 or like a Instinct, maybe? I'm gonna say final answer, FD1. What is it? Oh, it's just an FD, C-Line FD. So I haven't thrown a C-Line FD in a long time, not since the first Discmania C-Line FDs came out. Typically I'm more of an S-Line FD thrower, that's why I liked that pink Neo FD that was in the first box. And it's from Anderson, South Carolina, or at least like a tournament that was held in Anderson, South Carolina. So we have a C-Line FD. Always good to have a backup FD. So in the first box we had a purple DD1. In this box we have a purple DD3, which is amazing and I keep reiterating the fact that it's just great to have backups because I'm a DD3 thrower, I've been throwing DD3s for a few years now and my yellow DD3 is just getting super seasoned. Honestly it's at a really good point right now where it has some turn but it still has some fade and it's a super bomber flyer for me but having brand new DD3s especially in the S line is just awesome because there's going to be a time where I either lose that or it's getting too flippy and I'm just going to need to replace it with a new DD3. So always good to have new DD3s around. Ooh, we have another stone. So I think this is the fifth stone of the video and this one is the rain stone in kind of like a clear plastic with a rainbow stamp on the front. And a rainstone is a Flex 1 Sea line Essence. And the Essence kind of goes in and out of my bag. Right now I am bagging my beat up blue Neo Essence, which is a couple years old, so it's definitely got some turn to it. But a brand new Sea line Essence, I'm sure is gonna be a little bit more straight with actually probably some fade at the end too. Flex 1 Sea line I don't think I've heard of that plastic yet. And it does feel pretty good. It does have some bend to it. It's not like it's super stiff. For some reason I thought it was going to be more stiff until I kind of put my thumbs into it, but it feels really good and it feels really grippy. I'm still pretty unfamiliar with all the stone discs, but just seeing these five stone discs in front of me, it would actually be pretty cool to do a round or like a video where I'm only throwing the new stone discs. I think that would actually be pretty cool. So that might be something that I do over time here. Next, oh, ah, this is actually a double. This is a Lone Howl 3 in the sea line plastic, metal flake sea line, and I literally have this exact same disc. And speaking of a giveaway, since I already have this exact same disc, maybe this one can be thrown into a giveaway at the end of the video. Just maybe. But we have the sea line Lone Howl 3. Which, kind of like what I was talking about earlier, how a PD is a backhand disc for me and a FD3 is a forehand disc for me, I did bag my old Lone Howl 3 for a while and it was pretty much primarily just a backhand hyzer disc for me. Pretty overstable out of the box. I never beat it in enough to know if it's really going to be a straight flyer to then stable at the end. But Lone Howl 3 is just an awesome disc. Okay, next we have what I think is the last disc here. Oh! Nope, there is one under the flap in this one. So, this is another mid-range. It is a method in the EXO hard plastic. It looks pretty cool, actually. The stamp is a red, white, and blue. Once again, just great to have backup methods. This one is white, so same thing. Not really going to throw it in the snow, but always good to have backup methods. In the first mystery box, there was no disc under the flap, but in this box, there is a disc under the flap, and it is another stone. So now we have six stones that we've opened between these boxes. At the time of filming this video, I checked on my phone and I went onto Dismania's website. You can still purchase red and black boxes for 99 for each of them, or you can get a bundle for 189 for two of them, so you save 10 bucks. But it's great that these boxes are still available, and if anyone likes what they saw right here, you can still go and get one. And these stone discs are just really, really well done. And so the last stone of the black box is a Rage Stone, which is a Lux Vapor FD1 in this orange kind of like metal flaky plastic. And once again, 
I just really like the stone stamps. They just look really clean. Each stone looks a little bit different. I'm probably gonna get all six of these and lay them out on this table here and kind of look at them all in front of me. I can, I can probably even show you guys too. I definitely have never thrown a Lux Vapor FD1. I've only thrown the Sea Line FD1. And I think that's it. I don't think I've thrown any other uh, type of, oh no, the Skywalker is an FD1. So I have thrown the Skywalker a good amount too, but that one's definitely not in the Lux Vapor. So it'll be really cool to check out this Lux Vapor FD1. So far, this has been an amazing haul. Like I'm looking over at the discs that are on the ground and I'm just excited and smiling looking at everything. And the sixth stone of these mystery boxes, that is just freaking awesome. So we made it through red, we made it through the first white box, we made it through the black box, and we have one more box to go here. And this has just been such a cool video. I've never opened this much at once. Not only is it a cool experience for you guys to see all this new plastic, it's a really cool experience for me because I'm essentially opening up an entire bag's worth of new plastic right here. I could probably go play like five rounds with these discs and still not throw each one of them. Let's get into this last one. It is a little bit thicker than the first one. This box is a little bit thicker, actually a good amount thicker than the first one. So this one has two in it. I'm guessing this box is probably going to have three or four discs in it. So let's end this with a bang and let's kind of see what we got here. Wow, I haven't seen this disc in a long time. We have a TD. We have a turning driver. Now, the TD is a great backhand disc, or it used to be for me, but I never really got myself to forehand a TD. For me, when it comes to forehanding, I want something that's, you know, stable to overstable, and a TD typically is a little bit understable, even right out of the box. And so once you beat it in, it de definitely turns into a hyzer flip to slow turn and come back disc. The TD is actually a really good beginner's disc to get a little bit extra distance, and for like someone who's a little bit more advanced or pro, this is a very versatile disc where you can use it in a lot of different situations. I just saw Ganon actually post a video with his TD and even Ganon, someone with that much arm speed can utilize a TD in a certain way and he got it over 500 feet, which is just crazy. And speaking of Ganon, welcome to the team. That is an absolutely huge signing for Discmania and I can't wait to see his signature series and how he performs this year on tour. But we have the TD in the S-Line plastic another TD in the S-Line plastic and kind of that green teal plastic here. So 100% gonna be making a review video on the TD coming up, but this one has a purple stamp on that kind of like green teal plastic. Looks super clean. Oh ho, 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 boy. Wow, I was not expecting this. We have a purple swirly Eagle McMahon Cloudbreaker, and wow, this is just like taking my breath away the same way that that other pink Skystone did. This purple, the swirls in this disc are just absolutely perfect. It looks so nice, and I've always thrown Cloudbreakers here and there. I have a Horizon Cloudbreaker in my bag right now, so I am excited to try this to say the least, and it just looks so pretty. We have another Cloudbreaker. Wow, just look at how beautiful this is. These swirls are just insane in this plastic. Even the back, look at that. It looks like a freaking lollipop. That looks like it came out of like Wonka's factory. Like, holy crap. These are so beautiful, these are so cool. I'm honestly so grateful for this. Like, looking down at all this plastic, this is like, just amazing, look how cool these are. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly speechless. I did not expect two brand new cloud breakers in this cool swirly plastic. Wow, this is awesome. All right, we have two more discs left for this unboxing video. Whoa, I have seen these online. We have the Cloudstone Prototype Spore can't really see the stamp there, but I'll give you guys a little bit of a better look at it. It almost looks like a kiwi. <laughs> this looks really cool. It's got green, it's got like that burst plastic. Wow. I think the spore is supposed to be kind of like a glitch, if I'm not wrong. I could totally be wrong about that. I do actually have two glitches, 
So if that's the case, I'm 100% gonna make like a spore versus glitch comparison video. This box right here might even be my favorite box out of everything that we've opened so far, just because of how cool those cloud breakers are. And then everything I've heard about the cloud stone and kind of seen about the cloud stone and now having one. And wow, so this one's kind of like green bursty. Look at this one, holy crap. It's like purple purple and white, almost like a pink and white burst. Just unboxing all this new plastic and seeing the quality of it and seeing this new stone run that we've been putting together. We have seven different stones here. I could 100% film an entire video out on the course playing a whole round with all these new stones. I'm definitely gonna do a giveaway. I have so much plastic here and some of it I'm probably not gonna throw or like at least full-time bag. So give me one second and I will be deciding what to give away to you guys. And with the magic of video editing, we are back with the giveaway discs. I'm gonna be giving away four discs, three of which I'm gonna be telling you guys now, and one of which I'm just gonna add into the box without letting you guys what, know what it is. And there's only gonna be one winner, so one of you guys will win all four of these discs. First, we have the Iron Samurai 4. Obviously a really good mid-range, really solid. I'm also gonna add in the Exo Soft Tactic. Like I said, I don't really throw the soft that much. Lastly, we have the Lone Howl 3. I have a perfectly fine backup of this disc, but it's another signature series disc that I feel like a lot of people weren't able to get their hands on that would be appreciated by one of you guys, along with one of the stone discs that you saw here. I'm not gonna let you know which one, but one of the seven stone discs that you saw here will be included in this package. And all you need to do to enter the giveaway is just leave a comment. You can say anything you want. It doesn't have to be a hashtag anything. If you just leave a comment, you enter yourself into the giveaway. So leave a comment down below if you made it this far and you wanna enter the giveaway for these four discs. Otherwise, that's gonna wrap it up. Probably four or five videos that I can make from this stuff, whether it's a review, a comparison, a full round with all the cloud stones, but I'm excited about it and I'm just really grateful to be a part of Team Dismania and get all this stuff sent to me and just be able to make all these videos, you know, whenever I get a package in. It's just really, really cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure to drop a like, make sure to drop a comment if you want to enter yourself into the giveaway and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh.